Hi everyone, and welcome to another fun, educational, fun educational 23 questions with American Girl. Yay! Today I've traveled all the way back to 1764, and I've got the questions, but who's got the answers? Let's go find her. Not here, or here. There she is! Hi! Hello! Are you the one I was told to expect? The one with the 23 questions for me? That's me! It's so great meeting you! Are you ready to start? I am! Perfect! Let's start with the basics. What's your name? Kaya Atonmai. Wow, that's really pretty. What does it mean? It means she who arranges rocks. Oh, is that an important job in your tribe? Yes, only women elders can arrange the stones for our secret lodges. My mother wanted me to grow up to be as respected as they are. Do you have any nicknames? Well, most people just call me Kaya, but some people <sighs> call me Magpie. Magpie? Why do they call you that? They say magpie birds only think of themselves. Some people think that I am like that. Selfish, but I am not. I just rush into things before thinking sometimes. Oh, girl, I do that too. If you're a magpie, then so am I. <laughs> I like you. I like you too. And this place is beautiful. Where are we exactly? We are in the beautiful Wallawa Valley. My tribe travels through the seasons, but Wallawa Valley is our home. That's in the state we call Idaho today. Who is your tribe? My tribe is the Nini Poo. Nini Poo. Today the tribe is also known as the Nez Perce. What does your original name, Nimi Poo, mean? It means the people. I like that. Speaking of people, who are the most important people in your life? Oh, there are so many. My father, Tota, my mother, Itza, my older sister, Brown Deer, my twin brothers, Wing Feather and Sparrow, and my sister, Speaking Rain, are my closest family. But we live with many. Wow, big family. Hey, so between us, who are you closest to? Hmm, that would have to be my sister, Speaking Rain. She came to live with my family after her parents died. She's blind, so I try to be her eyes. But a lot of the times, she ends up looking out for me instead. She is my best friend. That's awesome! So, take me through what a day is like for you. What do you like to do? In the morning, we bathe in the stream. No matter how cold it is outside, then we run to warm up and keep us strong. But every day is different. We might weave baskets, gather roots and other food for winter, or sew beautiful quills and shells onto our dresses. In the evening, our elders tell us stories. I love that. Oh, and I love riding my beautiful horse. You have a horse? I do! She's right over there. Would you like to meet her? Hmm, yes please. Whoa, she's beautiful. And she has a baby too? What are their names? The mother is steps high and the foal is sparks flying. You get along so well with animals. It sounds like a really great life. It is. We always have animals near us. From the time we were born, my cradle board was hung from the saddle of my mother's horse when I was a baby. When the horse walked, the cradle board swayed and lulled me right to sleep. When I was old enough to walk, we traveled with the pack dogs in front of me and behind me to keep me safe. Wow, I wish I grew up so close to animals. Do you ever feel like you can understand them? My elders tell stories about honoring and respecting all creatures. We believe that long ago, animals talked just as humans do. The only reason animals no longer talk is that humans stopped listening to them. Still, I think I can understand what Steps High and Totlow have to say to me most of the time. I kind of feel that way about my pets too. What's the most exciting adventure you've ever had with animals? Mm, that would have to be the time Steps High, her foal, and I escaped a wildfire. That fire growled like a bear as it chased us. Our eyes stung and our throats burned with every breath. It was all I could do to cling to Steps High as we tried to find our way out. The smoke cleared just for a second and we saw it. A narrow passage out of the valley. We barely escaped with our lives. My heart is beating so fast just listening 
to that story. I'm so glad you and your horses are safe now. Me too. We are all very thankful. What about celebrations? What are they like for your tribe? I love celebrations with the tribe. The men get out their drums, and the air is filled with the sounds of music, singing, and laughter. Sounds like a party. Do you get dressed up and wear something special? I don't. I'm not old enough to dance yet, but my older sister Brown Deer does. I love to dance. Please tell me more about this tradition. Brown Deer gets to wear a dress she decorated herself with colorful porcupine quills and shiny shells. One of the boys she dances with may become her husband one day. And the greatest part is that these courtship dances happen almost every night. It sounds like living out here can be pretty fun. Does it ever get scary? It can be dangerous. Like the wildfires? What other dangers are there? One time, Speaking Rain got swept away by a river, and Steps High and I had to ride into the river to save her. Wow, that does sound scary. You're a hero. I do not know if I am a hero, but I do hope to be one someday, just like my hero, Swan Circling. Swan Circling? Who's that? She is a warrior in my tribe. She is brave and always willing to help others. The way you describe her, she sounds amazing. Speaking of, for our last question, how would you describe yourself? Hmm, I would say I am adventurous, animal loving, and daring, but with a generous spirit. I love that. Thank you so much for your time, Kaya. You are welcome. And thank you for tuning in. Now I'm going to go pet this ridiculously cute horse. Until next time, question lovers. <laughs>